Now in this video we will see some of the basic uh, legacy queuing mechanisms which was used earlier. Now probably we are not going to use these mechanisms in today's networks but we will try to understand these things just to have some basic idea on the different queuing mechanisms. So the first one will start with first in first out. First on first out is the default uh, queuing mechanisms which was used for all normally uh, for even input queue also the default is first in first out. Now, which means the first packet whichever comes first will be processed it's the simplest of all and it has just only one queue and all the individual queues are always first in first out where the first packets whichever comes will be processed first now the other queuing mechanisms we have something called priority queuing now priority queuing is allows you to provide four arrange the packets in a four different queues with high medium normal and low priority traffic now like we can arrange the traffic in different classes like we can say that the voice traffic and the video traffic should be considered as a very high priority traffic when compared with uh, other traffics like maybe a database traffic is medium priority traffic whereas your HTTP is normal priority traffic and, and FTP is your very low priority traffic. Now once we distinguish the different types of traffics in four different uh, queues now if, if the packet is coming with a high priority, let's say there is a voice packet is coming, it will automatically stop all the remaining queues because it is a high priority traffic, it will send that first in case if there is a condition. Okay, And once it is able to send, let's say there is a 64 kbps of voice traffic coming, it's going to ensure that voice packets are sent first before it sends all the remaining queues. And once you are, there is no high priority traffic, it will send the medium priority traffic and if there is no medium priority traffic also then it will start forwarding the normal priority traffic and if there is no more normal priority traffic then it will start forwarding the low priority traffic. Now while it is forwarding the no low priority traffic in case if any packets comes with a high priority traffic it will be sent first before it sends the low priority traffic. Now this will ensure that your high priority traffic will be forwarded, always forwarded first that's a good thing but at the same time the major drawback is Sometimes if you have a continuous high priority traffic, maybe your low priority traffic will not be able to get forwarded because, because the device is always forwarding your high priority traffic most of the time. Now that's the reason we, we don't prefer to use this priority queuing in today's networks. But we have some uh, advanced implementation called low latency queuing. We'll see that in the next videos where we are uh, combining uh, multiple priority queuing as well into that. Now the next next queuing mechanism we have something called round robin and weighted round robin. Now in the round robin we we are going to arrange all the packets in different queues where it is where the device is going to send one packet from each and every queue. Like packet one will be forwarded from the queue one, and the second packet will be from the queue two, third packet from the queue three, again fourth packet, fifth packet, sixth packet like that. Each and every queue, each and every uh, each and every queue they will equally forward one packet from each and every one. So dispatches one packet from each and every queue in a round robin fashion. Now here all the queues are treated equally and all will forward the same amount of traffic at the same time. But again in this the major drawback here is like let's say you have a voice traffic so maybe your voice traffic has to wait to send the next packet once it finishes the other queues. Now in this quantized scenarios we can use something called weighted round robin. Now in the weighted round robin we are going to apply some weight. Let's say we are applying weight of 4 and the weight of 2 and the weight of 1 here. Now this Q1 is going to send 4 packets almost 4 times of what the Q3 sends or uh, 2 times of what the Q2 sends. So you are going to define some, uh, some kind of weight to a specific Q where it is going to send more packets from that particular queue when compared with other queues. So that's what we call as weighted round robin uh, robin queuing mechanisms. Now these are the actual uh, old legacy methods which we used earlier, earlier implementations but th these are something which we don't use in today's networks. We use some, some advanced queuing mechanisms in today's network like fair queuing, weighted fair queuing and we use something called low latency queuing mechanisms which are far more advanced implementations of the queuing mechanisms. So more on those, uh, the new queuing mechanisms which we use, the commonly used, we'll, we'll talk about that probably in our next 
videos in detail.